For the audience that's viewing this, I would want them to understand, have a deeper understanding for what it means to be different. You know, personally the comment I get a lot is you don't look Jewish. If you really knew me, you know, you'd see that my body is just a shell and What's inside is just more than what you see on the outside. Just because I dress the way I do doesn't mean that I, have, I don't have feelings. If the media tells you that illegal aliens are bad and uses words like illegal aliens and illegal immigrants, it's going to affect you in a, in a way where not so directly but more indirectly where, where other people look down on you versus looking up at you or not even looking up at you but just kind of respecting you. My middle name was Ahmed, and they're like, oh, you know, you've, you know, you must be a terrorist and all this stuff. And they were really kind of harsh about it. But to me, I kind of spoke out, and I was like, no, not every Muslim's a terrorist. Do you think every, you know, German is a Nazi? No. Um, at school, one of those common things you'll hear is, oh, that's so gay. Um, and then it kind of makes you feel bad on the inside. Um, like, I know one time I was guilty of saying, oh, that's retarded. And then I had um, one of my mentally challenged friends come up to me and say, well, that's offensive to her. So I know it's something people often do without um, being intentionally mean, but I think it's something we need to look out for. One of my fellow students in one of my classes decided that, you know, he was really eager to know how I looked like under my scarf, and so he pulled my scarf backwards. And I had a pen right here, and when he pulled it back, it almost choked me. And so at the cause, he realized that, you know, he was, you know, causing me really painful uh, injuries. But then I remember when, um, when the, the, um, the shooting in Virginia came, right? And then it was the the Asian guy, right? Uh, shoot the people. And one of the teachers said, "That's why they should they should shut the border lines of immigration." That's what she said. And then I my the tears came in. You know, it's like I started I cried, but then I ran to the bathroom. I'm sorry, <laughs> I ran to the bathroom because it hurt so much. I mean. I mean, how could a teacher say that when they're supposed to be there and support you, you know? I think the hardest thing about body language is you can call somebody out for saying something. You can call somebody out for doing something. But you can't call somebody out for rolling their eyes or, you know, turning their body a certain way or whatever it is. It's subtle, but it screams louder than if they had stood at one end of the hall and you were at the other and they yelled at you. Um, I have also been told to go back to your own country. You know, going back to my own country would be wonderful, but at the same time, it would be kind of sad since I've already made my life here. They just want me to go back, but they don't know what back means. When change comes, it's going to be a good thing, but it's up to us, really. And basically, it only takes one person, you know. There's, like, tons of examples of that, like, civil rights, you know. It, take, you know, it took one person, and then everybody else started to come in. I think together, everybody has power to make change. So it's every individual's mission, almost, to speak up and to say something, you know. Make a difference in your community, make a difference and do something that's right. Because if you don't do something that's right and you keep waiting for someone else to do it, then that person is going to wait for someone else to do it. And then that other person is going to wait for another person to do it. And then no one's going to end up doing it.